A modern marvel of science and engineering. Allow me to introduce Cosmo. Cut Cosmo. Cosmo! We looked at Cosmo as a pet. Uh, you can buy him uh, essentially uh, everywhere. And um, the idea for Cosmo was to figure out how to make a robotic character the way how you would normally only see it in movies. So we have an entire animation studio within the company here with uh, animators, former Pixar animators and so forth, who work on the robot's personality, who figure out exactly, is this eye shape better than this eye shape? If they would make a movie of a robot, um, they would have dozens, maybe hundreds of uh, animators and character experts sitting behind the scenes figuring out every detail of how this robot should behave. And we do the same thing, um, but we do it for a physical robot. So if he sees you and he doesn't know who you are, he's gonna drive up to you and um, try to figure out who you are. He might ask you who you are, and then you can um, uh, type in your name, and from that point on, he will remember you. And then every time from that point on he sees you again, he will get very excited about seeing you and then asking you to uh, interact with him, play games with him. One of the, my favorite games is called Speed Tap. It's a reaction-based game where um, uh, you need to uh, 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 hit an object uh, when the lights in both objects turn the same color, and whoever does it faster gets a point. The Emotion Engine allows us to change the robot's behavior all the time. For example, loses a game five or ten times in a row, in which case he will get very upset or very annoyed if that happens. Or if he wins a lot, then he gets very confident. So the recognition part of it, the fact that, Ro that Cosmo can recognize phases, that is a, a part of the software called computer vision and face recognition. The robot has a camera in here and then on the processor, um, uh, the software is running in the robot and on a connected mobile device. And so a lot of software there is running and um, trying to figure out, does the robot see a face right now? Essentially, I believe it's by now about 1.2 million lines of code, um, which uh, define hit the robot's entire behavior. <laughs> So I would say two parts were um, both equally challenging. One was the, the artificial intelligence, the software itself, to make it happen. The other part was, quite frankly, how those emotions are being displayed. Um, we use um, robotics and artificial intelligence to create consumer products which you uh, otherwise could not create. My two co-founders and I, we met at the Carnegie Mellon Robotics Institute in Pittsburgh as we were doing our PhDs in robotics uh, there. And um, we saw all this amazing technology in that research lab. So really, we were excited about robotics and AI, but we wanted to make products which anyone can go and buy and then get access to that same level of technology. One of the big uh, advantages is that the robot itself is so capable that we can now release new software updates over time. And I think it's just, it's booming because people want to have robotic pets in their home. What?